Assalamualaikum and hi. So today we're going to look at the last subtopic of chapter 6 which is power and power factor. So our learning objective here is to apply in AC circuit consisting of resistor, resistor capacitor, resistor inductor and resistor capacitor inductor in series for the average power, instantaneous power and also power factor. So we're going to apply all these three for these four types of the circuit. Okay. So in an AC circuit, power is only dissipated by resistance. Okay. So whatever power that is going to be dissipated, it is only dissipated through the resistance. None is dissipated by the inductance or capacitance. So even if you have inductance or the capacitance in a circuit, ia tidak akan menyebabkan any power to be dissipated across them. Power can only be dissipated across the resistor. Okay, ataupun kita cakap power loss ataupun power yang kita dah guna pakai lah dekat sini. Okay, therefore the real power PR that is used or gone is equals to the dissipated from the resistor. So whatever power that we have used is equals to the power dissipated dissipated across the resistor and it is given by the average power. So P average here is equals to I RMS V resistor RMS because we are talking about power that has been dissipated across the resistor sahaja. Maka when you have tak kisahlah kita ada um, resistor ataupun resistor circuit only ataupun resistor and capacitor ataupun resistor and inductor ataupun gabungan kesemua tiga-tiga ini it doesn't matter what your circuit looks like the voltage yang kita akan cakap dekat sini adalah voltage across resistor sahaja because we are talking about power being dissipated by the resistor so dekat tempat V ni kita substitute V across resistor okay since we are taking the I RMS it should be RMS jugalah okay and then V RMS, V RMS across resistor, V across resistor ini pula sama dengan I RMS. Okay, ini RMS juga lah. Bahagi the eh, sorry, darab dengan resistor. So I'm going to substitute this one into here. Okay, so dia akan jadi I RMS square darab dengan R. Okay, so this is our real power ataupun whatever power that you have already used. Okay, so this power is the power that has been dissipated across the resistor. So for your RCL circuit, contoh kita ambil circuit yang ada inductor, kapasitor dan juga resistor. This is your phasor diagram where you have voltage across resistor, voltage across inductor, voltage across kapasitor and this is your V net and this is your current. Okay, so ini adalah V RMS, ini adalah I RMS kamu. And then phasor diagram for impedance pula where you have for your resistance, capacitive reactant, inductive reactant and also the total impedance dekat sini. Okay, from the diagram above, daripada dua-dua diagram ini, kita boleh buat conclusion such as, you're going to have this phi here. Okay, alright, cos phi dekat sini. Cos phi is equals to VR. Sorry. VR over V. Okay. Sebab apa yang kita nak buat dekat sini adalah we are talking about power that has been dissipated across the resistor. So kita nak ambil term yang ada resistor saja, Benda yang melibatkan resistor saja. Sebab according to the uh, sorry uh, across the uh, inductor dan juga kapasitor kita tak ada power being dissipated. So kita ignore dia punya V dekat sini lah. Kita nak fokus pada benda yang boleh dissipate the power dekat sini. Okay, so opposite adjacent hypotenuse. So, kita nak term adjacent dan juga hypotenuse. So, kita guna cos phi dekat sini lah. Cos phi adalah VR, voltage across the resistor, bahagi dengan voltage. Total voltage kamu lah, voltage supply dekat sini. And begitu juga, based on your impedance circuit, your cos phi here is equals to opposite adjacent hypotenuse. So, adjacent over hypotenuse which is the resistor divided by the impedance. So now we are going to substitute the equation 2 here into equation 1. Okay, what we have here adalah kita ada P average is equals to I RMS V RMS untuk resistor. Eh, betul? So, kalau kamu tengok ini sebenarnya adalah V RMS untuk resistor. Because this whole thing adalah RMS voltage. Okay, kita tengah cakap pasal 
voltage across resistance untuk yang root mean square, voltage across inductor root mean square, voltage across kapasitor root mean square. So this one is also VR across, sorry V across R yang RMS juga. So kan usually kita tak tulis lah bila kita tulis V je kita dah tahu. Ini pun sebenarnya VRMS kamu. We don't usually write all this lah. Okay, kita jarang tulis. Sebab kalau kita cakap V untuk uh, AC circuit, we already know we are talking about VRMS. Kalau V not, kita memang akan cakap V not lah. Memang kita akan ada subscript not dekat tepi tu lah. Okay, so uh, if I were to substitute my VRMS ini ke dalam sini, I'm going to get my VRMS, V across resistance RMS, sorry. Akan sama dengan VRMS darat dengan cos V dekat sini. So, this is my RMS. This is VR RMS. Okay. So, my power average now akan jadi I RMS tempat VR, V across resistor punya root mean square. I'm going to substitute this whole thing. So, I'm going to get VRMS cos V. Begitu juga, I'm going to do the same thing for these two pula sekarang. Tempat R ni saya akan substitute Z cos V. Because this one, R here is equals to Z cos V. I'm going to take this and substitute into here. So, saya akan dapat I square RMS Z cos V. Sebab kita substitute Z cos V as your resistance here. Okay. Yang ni pula adalah equation yang ini yang kita tadi buat. I RMS V RMS cos V. Okay, where I RMS square darab dengan Z, this thing. Okay, this part ya. I RMS darab dengan Z dan juga I RMS darab dengan V RMS is actually your power being delivered by the load. Okay, apa saja power that has been given by the supply kan? Total power by the supply iaitu total current darab dengan total impedance. Okay, square ah uh, power. So, total current square darab dengan total impedance ataupun total current darab dengan total voltage kita akan dapat the power delivered by the supply apa saja yang diberi daripada supply so this one is known as apparent power pa okey power delivered by the supply ni kita panggil dia apparent power so now apa yang akan jadi dekat sini adalah your p average now becomes p apparent cos v dekat sini so your cos v is actually P average bahagi dengan P apparent kita rearrange ini alright ok so the term cos V ini is what we call as power factor inilah power factor kamu the whole thing cos V bukan V saja. V adalah angle V tu dekat situ cos V is known as power factor so kalau soalan kata find the power factor apa yang kita nak cari adalah cos V ok The power factor can vary from the maximum of positive 1 to a minimum of 0. Okay, power factor ini, cos V ini boleh ada nilai positif 1, paling maksimum dan paling sikit adalah, paling minimum dia adalah 0. Okay, so the value can vary from 0 to 1. When V is equals to 0, maksudnya theta gambar dekat sini adalah kosong. Cos kosong tekan kalkulator kita dapat 1. Kos kosong tekan kalkulator kita dapat satu. The circuit is completely resistive. Okay. So kita cakap. Kalau lah kita punya angle dekat sini. Yang ini. Angle ini. Adalah kosong. Which indicate sebenarnya. Kita punya V. Net akan duduk along. Y axis juga. Which means. Kita punya. Uh, circuit is completely resistive. Maksudnya hanya ada resistance saja dalam circuit itu. Ataupun. When the circuit is in. Resonance for RCL circuit Okay For RCL circuit pula Maksud resonance adalah VL kamu dengan VC kamu Sama nilai When your VL is equal to your VC Maka kita cakap it is at resonance Ini kenapa boleh sama Sebab XL sama dengan XC Ini adalah syarat untuk resonance So for resonance When your XL is equal to XC You are going to get your angle here As 0 So cos 0 gives you 1 Okay Power factor kamu hanya boleh dapat paling maksimum when you have a completely resistive circuit iaitu pure resistance ataupun in an RCL combination circuit, it is at resonant. Ini syarat untuk dapatkan yang paling 
maximum dekat sini. Okay. However, when your phi here, your phi here, your angle here is adalah positif 90 ataupun negatif 90, kita akan dapat power factor kita sebanyak kosong. Okay. Bila dia positif 90, maksudnya V net kamu ni akan duduk dekat sini which indicates that your circuit is a completely inductive circuit. Okay. Completely inductive maksudnya dia adalah pure inductor circuit dan juga when your Ini adalah negatif 90, kita akan dapat completely kapasitif. Okay. Sebab kita tak ada power being dissipated across the resistor. Because power can only being dissipated across the resistance dekat sini. Kalau tak ada resistance, maka dia tak boleh dissipated power. Bila dia tak boleh dissipated power, dia takkan ada power factor. That is why you can get cost fee kamu kosong. Okay. Cost fee hanya akan dapat kosong. Your power factor can only be zero when you have pure inductor ataupun pure kapasitor circuit. Okey, maksudnya tak ada resistance langsung wujud dalam circuit itu. Alright, that's it for 6.4.